Hi all, well, I thought I'd give you a quick video tour of where I actually do my do some of my modelling, or a lot of my modelling. I'm lucky enough to do it in the family room, so um, I've got to share it with my family. So my wife has a desk there, the kids, oh, the kids' computer's there, the boy has his PlayStation over there. Um, so anyway, you can see my desk here, and I apologise for the jerkiness of the video, I'm doing this on my phone. Um, but anyway, you can see uh, I'm a bit of a subscriber to the to the shelf, or the, uh, the theory of having... Uh, a paint rack um, so I've got a lot of paints and bits and pieces up there I like to have everything within easy reach and I don't want to be going ferreting around in drawers and stuff for things that I'm going to use all the time so I, ha I do have a lot of uh, paints and bits and pieces up there um, so we'll zoom in a bit closer um, primarily the paints I've, I've got here are Vallejo paints and that's because I, that's what I brush paint with um, I've picked these up over the years quite cheaply um, they're good paints I love them for brush painting a couple of our lights um, so I've got plenty of light going on there. Um, if we look along the top sort of shelf, we've got Vallejo paints, we've got uh, decal setting solutions and other bits and pieces. Um, things like uh, your washers and filters, which I went through the phase like probably a lot of you did, buying all this stuff when it came out and then realising that you really don't need it. You can just mix up most of this with enamels and oil paints. But anyway, now that I've paid for them, may as well keep them. Uh, in this set of shelves, or little drawers here, I keep things like spare tape, um, various sizes, there's camera equipment in there, more glues, polishing com sorry, polishing compounds, etc. Got some um, wad punches, which I find uh, particularly useful for cutting circles. Um, sort of on the main sort of shelf here, we've got um, brush holders, which I use to keep pencils, etc. And um, on that so on that one, some spare glues over there. Um, some zap kicker etc. Uh, paint brushes, the square one I find really really cool, I quite like it, I only bought it recently um, so I've got all my paint brushes that I use regularly are in there plus cutters and other sort of things, drippers and um, uh, this is a bit of magnetic tape which I've used to stick on um, some blades, those blades are the, uh, the sharp ones which I haven't used for anything but say cutting decals and there's this, those ones down there I use for uh, applying glue, they're just old uh, number 11 blades. So I've got things in, in this death office tidy, you can see all the sort of stuff that I keep in there. Um, two old toothbrushes, bits and pieces. This bit of foam here holds pin vices. I hate changing the, the uh, drill bit on pin vices, so I've collected quite a few of them over the years. Each of it has a different size bloody drill in it. I'll probably buy some more. I've so, um, got tweezers, little clamps, scribing tools, they're all jammed in there so they're up out of the road. Another little set of drawers here with um, drill bits, wire for scratch building, spare knife blades, you know, lead weight, just stuff that um, has been there for a hundred years and I've never really gone around and cleaned it out. Uh, oh, you can see over there I've got, you know, Utamia tapes sort of up out of the road with thin tapes here. Again, lots of little tools. Beading, there's a beading tool there. These are more riveting tools that I've collected and used once and thought, oh yeah, they're pretty good. Probably should never have bought them. No point getting rid of them. Um, so this set of shelves here is where I store the, the boxes of the kits I'm working on at the moment. So you can see the JAG project there. I've got the Airfix JAG and, this, and the Kitty Hawk JAG, which I'm trying to make one decent JAG out of and am struggling. This is, this is a spare box here. I've got bits of my stag hand here. Um, etc etc uh, so if we sort of scroll down onto the come and sit down on the bench you'll see that I actually don't use the um, the green mats to work on I really like to work on a glass surface so these are bits of glass um, so I, I found it uh, much much better to work on it you can put your tape on there scrape it off you can cut it it's easier to clean when you want to have a tidy up um, doesn't matter if you drop super glue on it it's not a big deal you can just scrape it off with a scraper you can, there's my current project there over there you'll see a, a document little document stand I managed to find that I rescued that from work really handy um, for putting your instructions and stuff on uh, you can see that set of shelf across there I've got all sorts of little bits and pieces in there we've got a uh, there's there's uh, a little folding tool. There's a riveting. There's a little trumpeter riveting tool over the back there. There's a off a kids medicine thing that's handy for bits and pieces. Some punches. A little punch set. My mate made me in there. Um, we've got a cutter down there. We've got micro brushes. Some sanding sanding sticks or some sorry some sanding pads which I'll never use. They're not that. They're the not the um, fabric ones. Don't like them very much, but I may as well use them because I bought them. Micro mesh. We've got various uh, little razor saws, toothpicks. Yeah, you, know, you can scribing uh, templates and stuff like that. More little 
little um, clothes pegs, micro drills. These are quite handy. These are little uh, denture tools for uh, that dentists use for dentures. Got them on eBay, really cheap, but they're like little mini um, diamond files, so they're great for opening up tiny little holes and stuff. So I've started using them a bit. Um, you know, more filler than you can poke a stick at. Some of it's probably gone off and needs to be thrown out. My, sort of, there's more micro jewels in the corner. There's filler there. There's bloody acetone. You know, it's like a bit of a chemical nightmare in here. Um, and the Vallejo paints I, always, I use a lot of. Black grey, probably the most useful colour. If you're ever gonna, only going to buy one Vallejo paint, I recommend black grey. It's great. Um, use it for black. I use it for rubber. I use it for all sorts. It's, it's fantastic. Um, here you can see I've used uh, beer bottle caps. for that's, a, that's an oil paint that I use to make up as a wash. I could probably add more thinness to that and it, it'll come back to life. Uh, white spirits, acetone, I clean all my brushes with acetone so I keep a bottle in here, my wife flogs it for her bloody nails which is annoying because every time I go to get use it it's empty and I have to go out and fill it up. Uh, down on this side of the um, the bench we've got a set of drawers, this is a junk drawer, it needs cleaning out, spare bottle caps, never a shortage of those in my place um, thankfully and just bits and pieces, stuff that I don't use very often, or spares, or, or again, it needs this drawer needs a clean out, it's full of junk. Uh, in this one we've got uh, paints, uh, Mr. Tamir and um, Mr. Hobby um, water-based acrylics, uh, still like to paint with those, still use them quite a lot. Um, thin with lacquer thinners, I find them really, they paint really well, don't brush paint them, would like to move all that sort of stuff out into the garage actually because and then I could probably tidy up these drawers a bit but that requires me to stop modeling and do something else so it's not going to happen in a hurry my favorite paints Mr. Mr. Hobby or Mr. Color Lacquers uh, so I've got a collection in there of uh, various Mr. Color Lacquers there's a heap out in the garage that I'm using at the moment plus I have more sp have spares in the uh, in the cupboard behind me and this draw set of drawers here we've got oils pastels etc don't tend to use these that much only sort of on the weathering phase so i will drag out what i need and spread them out all over the bench um, and then put them back in there out of the road when i don't need them um, the spare scratch building stuff these are old needles from syringes uh, old pe that i tend to keep you can still find a use for it even make scribing templates um, so we've got little bits of uh Brass rod, or or not even brass rod, it's brass tube actually, stuff, little bits of uh, netting or stuff for a scratch building if I've got any armour projects. Um, and in here, just spare sanding sticks. Tamiya, um, cotton buds, really like these, really tightly wound, they're really good for um, if you want to do a a nice sharp job of removing things uh, and not worrying about little bits of threads getting everywhere like you do with the cheap ones. Um, but they're expensive so I tend to reuse them. Uh, anything that gets dirty is, is, is reusable or get, will go into this little jar here and I'll reuse them later on um, on a dirty job and I've got spares here for on a clean job. Uh, what else can we show you? Um, this bench here was meant to be gone once I built the big bench over there however I found that the big bench here isn't quite as wide as what I'd like so this distance here is a little bit narrow um, so I've basically decided to keep this bench here and I tend to spread out my references my instructions often or even or even the box the kit with the at the start of a build when you've got all the sprues laid out and you're starting construction it can be quite handy to have to have them spread out so it tends to get spread out on there the family tends to use it for um, other things as well it's a bit of a junk storage area so it's current I tend to keep it tidy because I tend to monopolize it quite a lot find it very useful uh, anyway that's about it there's probably nine minutes of your life you're never going to get back uh, hopefully you've but hopefully you found this um, somewhat interesting or if you're nosy like I am, interesting uh, enough to see wh where I do my work. And, um, you know, if you've got any comments or uh, you want to ping us a, a message or anything, by all means. And uh, just a shout out to my couple of mates, uh, Mick Drover at uh, the Modelling Republic. Uh, doesn't do a lot of modelling. Uh, the Modelling Banana Republic has, has been uh, known. And um, Bruce at Cutting Match. Matt Capers, again, it'd be uh, nice to see a bit of work from those blokes, but uh, I'm not holding my breath. Anyway, it's good to uh, talk to you, and I'll do a little model of, a little video, sorry, of the uh, of the area uh, where I tend to do my uh, spray painting, and um, I'll put that up. Um, I'm still trying to figure out this videoing stuff, so I don't know how good this will turn out. But anyway, if you've got any comments, questions, suggestions, by all means, let me know. Till next time, see you later.